All right, so um, let's check our topic for today. Did you finish number one, the collocations? Let's see your answer. Yeah. Okay, so number one, take work home. Take. What about time to relax? What should we use? Have. Have time to relax. Okay, so we should have time to relax. What about number three you have? What do you think? Long uh, hours. Which verb do you think is more suitable? Is it better? Uh -huh. Work long, long hours. Work long hours. Long hours. That's yeah. better than, because we cannot say get long hours. Yes. Is it is it noisy? Can you hear some noise? Yes, there okay. is a noisy. Okay, just a second, because it hits the rain. Which hard, the pre-intermediate or intermediate course? <laughs> hmm? So intermediate is uh, above uh, the pre-intermediate. So pre-intermediate? More it's hard. hard. Yes, I, I feel that. Sorry, what's your question? Uh, you have? Number three. Number three. Work long hours. Work long hours. You were asking about intermediate. Mm. <laughs> yes, any, uh, any hard. <laughs> Which hard? I, I feel hard pre intermediate any, than, uh, than intermediate. No, intermediate just because than you are in the you mean, beginner. You mean difficult than... Uh, yeah? Yes. Uh, maybe, just, I don't know. I don't know, but just feel. No, no, you, you'll have some fun, don't worry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> number, number. I, think, uh, I think it's intermediate, it's uh, difficult than pre-intermediate, pre yeah? Yeah, of course, it's logical, okay. yeah. Because, every, every yes, level uh, the level... Is, yeah, every level is a little more detailed, so it's more difficult. Yes. Uh, this is just, uh, you can't judge the book by one exercise, because here in this exercise, uh, the focus is on work, uh, collocations. They're focusing on collocations, which is the, the suitable matching or, or the, the, the most appropriate verb for an expression. So if you want to talk about long hours, you can say, I work long hours. But maybe you, when you're in the middle of the, the, your conversation, maybe you'll make a mistake get. and you'll say get. It's easy to, yeah. to confuse them. So here it's a bit of a reminder uh, how to use the, the, right, the right verb. So this is the meaning of collocation here, this word, collocation. Uh, it means the right verb for the right phrase or, or, or words. This is the idea. Okay, what about number four? Overtime? War, work. Work overtime. Work over time. Correct. Number five, mm -hmm. a workaholic. Uh, B. B, B, a workaholic. B, yes. a workaholic. Correct. Uh, okay, uh, you have, what about mm. this one? The one about deadlines. Deadlines. Uh, uh, take, take deadlines. That's wrong. It's meet deadlines. Mm -hmm. Do you see, it's it's easy to make mistakes here uh, because you, maybe you maybe you try to translate it, but it, it doesn't always work in the same way in Arabic. Mm -hmm. Because in in English you have to say meet deadlines. Mm -hmm. So if you want to complain, maybe your your company or maybe your department in hospital, uh, maybe you have some deadlines. So if you're talking to your colleague or your friend you will say, oh, there are so many deadlines we need to meet this this week. Mm. So it means the, the department has given you uh, a deadline to maybe submit some papers, finish some kind of assignment. I don't know, maybe, finish yes. an exam. Maybe, maybe issue memo. Yeah, there's a memo in the department that all of you need yeah. to, to respond to, to reply, to complete the yeah. form. Anyways, what about uh, number seven? Uh, um, take time take, off work. Take time off. Take. Okay. Number eight. Uh, B. B under. B under. under. Okay. Number nine. Spend. Spend, 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 spend a lot of time at work. Correct. Spend. And number ten. Have, have good work. Have. Have good working conditions. Yeah. Everybody wants to have good working conditions. 
uh, where they work. That's correct. 